Yo. Um, mm, mm, mm. It's good, y'all. We're getting back into it. Yeah, I know. I'm showing up late today. Motherfucking. Motherfucking niggas are sleeping too good. But what's good, y'all? We're having an open podcast today. Tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend. Man, I'm tired, man. I ain't even gonna hold you. The wild part is I can't even crank. I can't even crank nothing for real. What's good, y'all? Hey, what's good, y'all? Make sure y'all go tell Maybach we on tonight. <sighs> Sorry for being late, man. episode 35 man i did come here a little bit late yeah i came a lot of late but make sure if y'all can find go find Maybach, wake her up from the day because she's been sick for the past i think week or so so y'all go wake up Maybach. back yeah you go blow her dms up say yo boss of dmv live right now what you doing but what's up y'all let's get into it man week been week been mad dumb Mad, mad, I ain't gonna lie, this week kind of been a little bit slow for me. I mean, usually I be having fast week, but this week been a little bit slow for me. I mean, DMs been booming for real, like, but other than that, man, we, 
we we here for another episode, man. We having a we having an open podcast today, so everybody's welcome. Um, he said, "How was Cali, man? I ain't gonna lie to you, Cali was sweet, man. I, I want to head back to you. You know, I got my man, Corey, my boy Corey Mays, man. Corey Mays was, was in that drunk, turn up that spot, but yeah, Cali was sweet, man. I, uh, it was quite an experience, and is 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 experience I really want to keep on experiencing. You know, what I mean, I'm a, oh, I want to keep that a uh, consistent thing that I'm going to Cali like every other month or every other weekend type shit, but um." Yeah, let's make that a habit, man. Let's make that a, a traveling habit for like everybody, man. Like we should we should have goals to travel other places and you know experience other regions and other destinations that you never been for before. Like you know, before I even went to California, I was in Colorado. So, so like you know what I mean. So, you know, I'm open my horizon. I want to open my horizon some more. So you know, next I'm 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 hoping the touch base in Canada. I'm trying to go out to Canada. Canada, we coming. Um, uh, Jamaica, I gotta do something out of Jamaica, bro. And you know, I'm trying to hit. Oh, I'm by next year. I want an international tour. No cap. Like I really want an international tour. I want to tour like all the all this all the countries y'all see on my on my tour. Y'all like, oh shit, this nigga is not gonna be in this country. Like, yeah, that's that's the tour I'm trying to work on, bro. But. Oh, Lil Fish, we shout out Lil Fish 51, man. Make sure y'all go check out Lil Fish 51. You know, most definitely, most definitely got some shit coming out soon. Actually, talking about Lil Fish 51, he do got, he do got a song that's going crazy right now. Let me see, let me see, let me get some Lil Fish. Lil Fish 51 real quick. Let's run up the let's, let's run up that check a little bit. Let's go run up that check for us. Yeah. I'm in a whole lot of gun shit. Nigga, I'm a real nigga and these niggas come. Let's get some shots and we gon' get you gun. I'm in a whole lot of gun shit, nigga. 50 guys wanna leave the gas, nigga. 51 shit, nigga. Little fish.
If you haven't tapped into Lil Fish 51, man, you most definitely tap in. Most definitely tap in Lil Fish 51. What's up? But just drop it my way. Hey, Lil Fish, just drop it my way, man. Just drop it my way. If y'all got that heat, just drop it my way. Uh, we got we have an open podcast. Y'all just hey, y'all just hold on real quick. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! I think I I think Medusa just woke up. I think Medusa just woke up, bro. I think Medusa Muse, Medusa Muse just woke up, man. Let's get this podcast started, man. Well, I'm waking up for nothing else, but this hey, any any Wednesday you see me wake up, I wake up for this podcast. But any other Wednesday, I ain't, nah, I ain't doing shit. But what's good, y'all? Yo, Miss Maybach. <laughs> I, you you talk about just woke up, nigga. Did you just wake up? The fuck? No, no, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I just okay. yeah, yeah. yeah. I just woke up. Yeah, yeah. Listen, listen this this what happened, right? I, I can't I can't go into too much detail because you can't give the the audience a lot of juice and there's a lot of spiciness in your personal life, right? Oh, okay. But but before before that, you know, niggas got into a situation. Where, where, you know, a companion, you know, literally sucked the life out of a motherfucker and nigga was asleep. And then, then nigga, when nigga, nigga ain't wake up, you know what I mean? So, you know, Shawty woke sh- nigga up. He's like, hey, yo, you got a podcast. I'm looking at Shawty. Well, you know, goddamn why I'm waking up this late because niggas don't suck the life out of me. But I mean, you know, like I said, we, we just gotta keep we gotta keep it PG thirteen in this motherfucker. But if you understand what I meant, yeah. you, 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 you. so you talk about keeping PG thirteen. So nigga, so you was getting your dick sucked. Whoa, 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 listen, whoa, 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 whoa. Listen, pause, pause, pause. Yeah, hell yeah, niggas getting his dick sucked. Nigga, niggas getting listen, niggas getting <laughs> niggas getting his dick sucked before the podcast. Listen, you know. It was a sleeper. Listen, it was a sleeper. I went KO. I went. I, I tapped out. Listen, all right. I now, admit it. Now, I admit it on have, national. I admit it on national live Instagram. Some shit like that. Listen. Oh yeah, I was just getting my dick sucked. No, Not literally. Oh, 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 oh. I didn't see, see. See, now you taking it too much. TVMA. I was a game. Now I was in game. My like shit suck. I already had it. So you gotta understand it's a principle. It was, I already. I was pre prepared, but the thing is, you you over you overestimate when you're supposed to wake up. You know what I mean? Is that you get the uh, ready? I need up. everybody <laughs> that's on this podcast to make sure that next week, this is asking where they back. The airbag will know him. No, no, you, no, no, yeah, 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 yeah. You excuse me. me. Everyone excuse this week. Everyone, everyone was late this week. Listen, everybody was no, late. Everybody wasn't on time. Um, you know, I mean, we we supposed to all be on time. Yeah. Everybody, yeah. even the audience, was all supposed to be on time. Eight on o'clock your, on the dock. Was you on know your what page. Mean? Y'all supposed to be blowing up my phone like boots. You fucking up right now, bro. You realize fucking up. So you go, so you know, we supposed to hold each other accountable. I'm supposed to hold the, the audience accountable, my host accountable, oh, and also myself accountable. Well, 7.59, I was on your page. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> let, 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 okay, listen, listen. Like, like I said, like, that was the reason why niggas woke up a little bit late. Niggas, niggas was in his element in the sleep. You know, you know that type of deep sleep you get I don't know, see, see, I can't even tell you too much, you know what I mean? But you know that type of deep sleep you get after that, after a good treatment, you know what I mean? So you, you gotta, you gotta, you know, applaud, applaud those women that, that give that good treatment for a certain type of men. But, um, let's get into it today, man. What's going on? Like, it's, it's, it's a wonderful day. Feeling good. It has been a wonderful, uh, Interesting day, that's for sure. Yeah, um, like I, 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 like I feel like a full American now. A full 
Oh, American rights. Yeah, bro, I've been exercising my American rights, man. Like I got, I'm, a, I'm a goddamn gun. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, a legit gun owner of multiple weapons. I just bought a little, a, a little toy for myself the other day. So like, what you got cookies for? Yeah. Give me that. Yeah, yeah. You said what? Where's in here? Collect taking the cookies. Let's see. Cookies. Hold up. What's what going on? Got some cookies and he's running around with them. Oh, you talking about? You talking about? Uh, baby uh, Bentley. Bentley. Yo, baby, I haven't heard of. I haven't heard from baby Bentley since the last time he crashed his last Bentley. I heard he got a new one, but like, what's going on? <laughs> Got being struck. Man. Damn, man. Okay, look at me. I'm not here doing bad. I'm not here waking up on time. On, on, well, not on time, but waking up after time and yeah. shit. And while Baby Bentley oh, already got a new Rolls Royce. God damn. I gotta catch up. Yo, do y'all know that uh, Maybach Child is the only ch only child under the age of uh 18 that can own a Maybach? My boy said, hey, Corey May said, can you play Maybach? Can you play Maybach my track? Okay, okay, okay. Let me yeah, play. What well, track? What track? Okay, you so have? You, you... Everybody, everybody that's been reaching out for me, um, this has been like a very fucking crazy ass week. I've been really, really sick. So, thank you for bearing with me because it's been a week and a half for me already. Yes, yeah, definitely. Like, if you didn't know, maybe I've been going through, going through, going through a lot, man. Like, make sure y'all tapping in with her. Make sure y'all checking up. On your favorite, your most favorite host, you know what I mean. Time to time, check up on her, you know what I mean. Give, send her some loves, some kisses, some some you know motiv motive, motivation. You know, sometimes you need it, and like you know, you never know. One, that one, that one type of message will probably knock out a little illness or sickness or a little depression that we're going through. You know, you never know. Just make sure y'all check up on your on your local your local individuals, man. Excuse me, sir. Get back in the house. Hey, what's good? What's, what's good, Miss Gutter, baby? Man, what's, what's good, Miss Gutter? Miss Gutter out here, stay grinding. Been hearing her name since I've been started this joint. And, like, she's still out here killing it. So, yes, I love her. Miss Gutter, baby. Hey, hey, yo. Hey, uh, Chloe May, send your, send your music to bossupdmv at gmail.com. You know what? I'm about to put it down in the comments right now. BossUpDMV at gmail.com. Make sure y'all send y'all music right there. If you want to get your music played tonight, just make sure you send it right there. It's an open podcast. So anybody that wants to uh, join the podcast, just send a request and I add you on. Oh, yeah. it's, 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 don't, be, get in, don't be scurried. Get in. Don't be scurried today. You should have been scurried last week, but don't be scurried today. Yeah, not not today. I'm like, I need to hurry up so I can get on camera. But I got to go make a stop. You don't do the whole fucking shit off. I'm just sitting here like, okay, where the hell is this? Uh, you say you, you got to make a stop. Yeah, I got to make a stop. How you going to make a stop? That whole, that whole time uh -huh. that you did I been the travel, God came back, got some funnels, <laughs> some sheets, some backwoods, some, okay. some guy uh, dinner, and some today. dessert. I just hadn't been able to get out the house. I had to, I had to get some shit done that I needed to get done. I had to do my whole time now, so I'm not able to go get what I need until now. Like I had to wait till my uncle got home. You know, I feel special, y'all. She had to wait till the till the time of our podcast to go run and go get some sheets. Done. I no, I don't need to wait till. I actually <laughs> got something fun of this. Year. That's not even what I'm talking about. Who? I need to go get something to put in the sheets in front of me, baby. Get something to put in the sheets in front of me. Yo, you, you, you uh, we see paper. You be all right. Shit. But, um. Uh, Where? It, why you keep coming out the door? You always about to get beat up. Birthday event and album release party coming up. When is your birthday? You got a party coming up. 
We got an album coming up. We, we, trying, we trying to know what's going on with the album. Am I on the album? I, I'm, do I at least got like a little like, 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 what, what you call it? Like a cameo, a little ad lib or something. <laughs> I, just, I just want to go that bitch be like, bird, boss up. You know what I mean? Just some, some wild shit. You got, you got at least add me. I mean, I just, I only want like one percent. I only want one percent of royalty, but I really want shit for real. I'm getting ready to leave, so come out the door. Wonderful time to be, be gorgeous. What the hell going on? We can get on the next one. Let's work. All right, we here. Hey, Cash Love. Huh? I say Cash Love. Hey, Cash Love. Cash Love here. Yeah. Yo, what's up with uh? But people are supposed to be going to MIA, bro. I hope everybody's good eternally, bro, because niggas, I don't know, man. Well, not a castle. I'm not referring to castle, but people, I feel like people just been like MIA, yo. What's wrong? What you mean? Who? The worst what? I said, who, who been MIA? Oh, okay. My my girl says it's worst allergy season this year. I guess, I guess that's why everybody is MIA because everybody got allergies. I guess and black they people. Niggas been sick. <laughs> been sick. It's been. It's been crazy couple of fucking oh shit. My ass been in the bed for a week. <laughs> Over a week, to be honest. Well, I'm just glad y'all still breathing. I still move. I'm surprised that I was even able to do the podcast last week because, nigga, I would I didn't even have a voice. Like, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. I'm so happy that you know what I mean. Like we got our core fan base or whatever. Because honey, I ain't get about another motherfucking thing all week, and trying to get healthy so that I can be present for today. Well, we we we, we appreciate you making them efforts, you know, because that's. The dedication, you know, that's what that's the type of things that we need around on our team. People who are dedicated, who's actually going to still put in the work. You know, okay, so, so, it's so much shit that I like, happened over the weekend. How was your 420? How was that? Man, nah, yo, you missed that more. You missed out. I was in the bed. It's like, I know, like, you yeah, it should have came, like. Why was I going to come? I just said that I was sick. But we, we, we going to have to, we, we should have had to put you on a stretcher or something to bring you <laughs> to the jump. Because that motherfucker was lit. Like, at first, I ain't going to lie. At first, I was in that bitch early, right? So, you know, the, you know, the club opened early. But, you know, I'm going to perform a little later. But the club opened early. It was like 6 o'clock. I was in that but I'm a motherfucker early. Shout out to Cash Flow. Being very, very professional, prompt, early, you know what I mean? So they was dead, cooling. But not to know that, hey, she talking about speaking to that. What's up? What's that, a clubhouse? But um, nonetheless, um, yeah, they they had another show booked that night. So, like, you know, if they would have stayed, yeah, they would have had a, they must would have had a lit ass show. It was packed in that motherfucker. By like, by like nine, 10 o'clock, it was just getting packed. It was getting packed. Like we had like about like I ain't gonna lie like twenty plus strippers like but you, you already know when it's a possible deal. Oh, I already know. Yeah, it's the, the, the dancers come out. 
and you know, I mean, shout out Clubhouse, the Clubhouse DC. But yeah, dancers come out. So um, yeah, it was just lit. You, you, you know, my um, we had family members come out. You know, not on my side, but on my girl's side, her family members came out. I had a couple guests. Shout out uh Ston Stoner Chicks. They came out, show some love. Hey, shout, shout out, out Chicks. Chicks. They came out, show some love. Um, I mean, sucker free dudes. Oh, I can't forget my boy sucker free dudes. He came out, show love, do say love, trap star angel, show love. You know, what I mean, it's, it's a 420 tradition. If you don't got no sucker free dudes, if you don't got no free J, you know, what I mean, it ain't, ain't, ain't the place to be at. So, like, most definitely shout out to everybody that popped out for real though. Like, like, no doubt about it. Hey, we got. Boom, boom, the engineer just dropped by. You know what I mean? We got an open podcast tonight, uh, Boom. If you're ready to cuss me back out today, today's the day. But, um... This is not bad. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, shit. But, uh... Um, okay. You made me. Oh, okay. But, uh, let's... This is our lost treasure, though. Like, that lost treasure by, uh... Miss Gutter, baby. She, she is, she is. Yes, play her music. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're back. Hey, cool. Yeah, I got, I got, I got it, bro. We gonna play, we gonna play your, we gonna play your music right after this. Let's go. Yeah, I'm like, oh, oh, oh. Uh That, that, that was some Miss Gutter baby right there. What's good, y'all? What's good, Castro? What's good? Hey, hold on. I fuck with that, John. Oh, yeah. I like Ooh. her sound. I like her yeah. sound. Like okay, Miss Gutter baby. Okay, Boone. Shout out Boone in the, in the building. Shout out yeah. uh, Real Zay. What's up? Shout out everybody. Yeah, always been Gutter. Hey, hey, everybody. I feel the day in this, in this good, lovely day, man. Man, I'm lit, you feel me? We got our birthday bash tomorrow. We performing for 200 people tomorrow. We lit. We double booked up, man. We lit. Yeah, you know. Damn. Cash, cash will stay boom. Cash will stay booked up. You might want to link up with them. Hey, man. Tap in with us. We work with everybody. Okay, so, so publicly... Publicly, I want to apologize. 
put that to you, Boom, for for not being receptive to our last conversation. Ooh. What happened? Huh? What I meant? <laughs> what you mean? I just, I yeah, just. Oh no! Oh, you were talking about the whole gatekeeper thing? Yeah, I just wanted to apologize to you for not being open to your conversation. Man, never apologize for what you said. You say what you said. No, That's it's not it. what it's I no, said. I, I never said took for offense. Being receptive to the conversation. I respect it. I appreciate it. I never took offense. Just so you know, I never got mad. I never let. I mean, let me tell you the reason why I never got mad is because I had that same exact mindset until I actually saw it, and then I'm like, damn, is that easy? You know what I'm saying? Hey. That's, but, that's some real shit, though. Yeah, but what I was saying was that there's no money in D.C. So, like, when I say that, I mean by like this. Lil Baby is too big of an artist to really come here. So if he came here, what can he do other than the arena? Like, mm -hmm. what other venue can he do so that, what that means is like it, the most the closest one maybe to that level is maybe the jiffy loop but say like if you go to texas you can have a show in austin a show in dallas a show in cali and corpus christi like those is like hours away you know what i'm saying so you'll make way more money in bigger states than you do here. Mm. you know and then we're here everybody got to leave that's the reason why Wale got on because remember Wale was with 42 record. What was the name? 42 something. The gentleman Kenny Burns. What was the name of that record? That record that lady. Y'all remember? Nah, I, don't, I don't know. I can search it real quick. Yeah, but Kenny Burns owned it. And he had Fat Trail, he had Wale, he had his AB the producer, and he had Uptown XO. So. And from what I'm understanding is when I talked to Block, it was like they bought him out of his contract, and that's how he was able to get the cross. So, but you have to leave here because if you stay here, it ain't gonna happen. And it ain't nothing against you. It's just that when you leave here, you look bigger and you look like you're on to something versus being here. And then all of a sudden, you go and get the hate, but it is what it is. You talking about talking about outdoor? You talking about that? I can't hurt. You talking about like out like well, all all those just those or something like that? Oh, it's like you saying next to a fan or something. Oh, that's true. Like, I ain't me. Some someone somebody on the road. That's oh. Crazy. Oh. <laughs> No, I didn't hear you say you said Alley Road Records or something. Yeah, yeah, out of those records. Is that the record label that uh Wale record? That's what I see right here. I don't know. I don't know. It was before that. It was before he was Wale when he first came out with all that shit. Oh, okay. And Kenny Burns. When Kenny Burns had whatever contracts that they had, it was something with Kenny. Okay. And like if you look up Kenny Burns, it'll say his record company or record label. And then they had a they had a video that they had put do you remember the freestyle right before uh, Trail really got famous when it was Black Cobain, uh, Lola, Moreau, and Trail, and it was in the hallway rapping? Yeah. That was like whatever label that was. I don't remember the name of it. Okay. I know it sounds crazy, right? It sounds like I don't know what I'm talking about. Whatever that label is. But that's what I was saying. Like, there is a such thing as gatekeepers, but... That relationship shit means way more than anything else. So, what I mean, like, with that being said, like, so we all know that that's the route to get out of here. It's like, it's, it's oversaturated. So you got to get out. But then it's like, to get out, it's like, okay, then we got all these people, like, Send me homie, like rest his long live, send me homie, but like he literally got a billboard, got signed, and then a couple of months later, he's deceased. You know what I mean? So it's like, what would be, I guess, the formula that you would give an artist or the advice that you would give an artist from here with that, I guess, type of that are in that type of situation where if they are not moving fast enough, like if it's not coming fast enough to them, they end up 
getting killed or getting locked up like money mark oh, like, uh, like money mark yeah means but you gotta understand too don't believe what you think you see so like when people be like oh man they got millions of followers that these niggas is broke like i'm not saying that all of them are but i'm just saying don't believe what you think you see you know what i'm saying and people that think that like i've been in situations where i've been around some of my favorite artists like i'm talking about like oh this nigga oh this this you know what i'm saying like cold killer blah 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 and i get around them and they're not who you think they are you know what i'm saying and then and then when, when that happens, you just sitting there and you just sitting there looking stupid because you can put all your faith into this nigga. Think about all the arguments you didn't have about who's artist of what. And then you kind of find out this nigga is not what you thought he was. That's or, true. She. or what about the people that are like, you know what I mean? They trying to be rappers, but then they really like in the streets, in the, in the streets for real. Like, it's like, it's one, like of, huh? it's one or the other. That's what I say to that. Like, I, I don't know. I can't, I don't think that you should speak on what you're doing as you're doing it, if that makes sense. Say, like, if it was something that was some time ago and you ain't got nothing really to worry about on it, then that's understandable. You're talking about your life. But if you're talking about something that just happened three days ago and then you're going to speak on it. Like, I don't recommend that, if that's what you mean. So, okay, so let me give you an example. Like, we literally just recently had a whole debate on podcast maybe a couple months ago about we, like, come on, y'all, like, just make some mainstream music. And we got into, like, a whole new debate about the younger generation or the younger artists that's coming up. They, they're, like, upset with us for telling them to make things that are more mainstream because they're like, this is what I did. This is what I did. Like, mm-hmm. so, so what's, like, what's your advice for people that's like, stuck in that space and like, wanting to rap about that type of thing? I'm not going to lie. I'm like, there's nothing you can do. I'm sorry. Uh, I believe, can y'all hear me? Yeah. I believe yeah. that I don't think that there's, music is to the point now where I don't believe what we think is music is talent, if that makes sense. So, like, it'll be a song that will, like, my son plays some some music. I'll be like, what the hell is that? But when you look them up, they have, like, a cult following. You know what I'm saying? So, like, to say what's a, what is a good song these days, I know what's good music to me, and I know what I know what is a classic. Like, as a classic song that I know that won't die out for life, but outside of that, I, I can't judge it. You know what I'm saying? Because I've been in studio sessions where I've recorded great songs with artists that nobody knows. And then I've been in song studios where I've recorded people that I didn't say I would like the song, but everybody knows. You know, so like with today's time, I don't know. I think it's just more what you That's think, true. What I feel think. like that's exactly what the dude was saying. He was like, my fans, they, they, they fuck with me. They couldn't support me doing mm-hmm. what I'm doing. Like, I was like, whoa. Like, boy, we got, it was like, it was like older, the older generation versus the younger generation. That shit was wild part. Who do you remember that one? Man. That but you can't talk to a like brick wall, that's all. You just can't talk to a brick wall. You know what I'm saying? Like, you ever try to talk to somebody and you just caught them at the wrong moment? <laughs> Our last interaction. <laughs> <laughs> oh. nah. But you know what I mean, though, right? So, like, you just Definitely. catch them at the wrong moment. So it's like, you can't just hear what they're saying, but then... A week later, you can have the same conversation, and then you're, now you're having a conversation. I mean, that might be what that is. You know what I'm saying? I think, like, if niggas, if people really thought like that, it would be a lot of non miscommunicational deaths that I believe that exist. Because everything is a miscommunication until you can talk about it. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes, even after talking about it, you still got to go your. Part your ways, it's nothing wrong. But some, 
Sometimes talking isn't enough because people got to experience it themselves to really understand what you're saying. Now. Yeah, right. And that life experience is, is a bitch. I don't know if you have to say that alive. I'm sorry. Huh? I don't mean to get your shit cut off. Yeah, but you're right. We is all fuck that shit podcast. This is not an editing, editing show. You know who I think in my honest opinion, was going to be the biggest artist of today's time. Cash Flow. Huh? Oh, who? <laughs> you said, you said wait, cash hold flow. up. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm intrigued to see who you was going to say. No, I was going to say Dobie. Who? I might be too young. Dobie. That's what I was going to say. To me, he was going to be the next biggie. That was gonna be the next biggest trap star. Mm. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm like, okay. So I'm getting ready to start taking like we already on the the motion and like starting to move out of the area, or whatever. But I'm definitely getting ready to start taking like trips. Again, doing some more networking. I had an artist that had to show at New York at the beginning of this week. Um, we will be in Atlanta in the next couple of weeks. So, like, is there any, like, like, like going to it? I mean, like, you know, I mean, people come come to you at the gas station, you know? Like, yeah, 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 no, yeah, yeah, like, I would say, yeah, because if you go in the trenches, yeah, yeah. But if you want to, if you want to run into a celebrity, go to the studio. Mm, okay. It's Miss Damn it. Yeah, so right now, if, if what would be the best, like if you was given like, what's the three places that as a manager, me bringing my artists, where should I be at networking? Uh, it depends on your budget. Because I can put you in networking spots and then. It depends on what you can afford. And I mean that by saying, like, if you're talking about, like, a studio, you're talking about an event, you're talking about a party, you're talking about, you know what I'm saying? Like, what's going on type thing. And then also where a lot of people, I believe, make their mistake is, is that they set goals. Because if you don't achieve that goal or you don't do the goal like you want when you want it, you become depressed and you feel like a failure. I just feel like dope. That's what I feel like. Yeah. I, don't know. I don't know. It depends on your on your budget. Because the reason why I say that is because all right, say you can go to patchwork, but depending on how you know what studio room you're going to, you're guaranteed to run into somebody in patchwork. If you go to Patchwork, if you go to Triangle, or if you go to, I want to say, I went to uh, Death Star. It was cool. But it was like, you're running, you're, like I said, you're running into people. It's just like, you just got to go where they are. Yeah, that's why I'm, I guess I'm going to be tapping in. Like, what's the budget? Like, what do I need? I don't, I don't know. So, say, like, I would say, if you say if you took five thousand dollars to Atlanta, that would cover mm -hmm. your house for like three or four days. Mm -hmm. That would cover your rental. That would cover your studio and probably a photo shoot or, or video. Or, or you can take that same five thousand and you can go sit down with uh, Authentic Empire. Like it's it's a a lot that you can do with it. Like, with that, with the Authentic Empire thing, you know how they're saying people come down there and pay the money and all that? So, mm -hmm. but, everything you can literally do on your own if you know how to do it. That makes sense. All right, you just broke up. What happened? Hey, boy, you breaking up. Oh man, what did what did you hear? Where did I stop at? Uh, Empire. <laughs> you stopped that off, then. Yeah, it just went out. Yeah, so you could take 
So you could take they have they have these budgets, right? Where it's mm-hmm. like you can say five thousand to them, they'll do a song. It comes with like eight hours of studio time with the mix, and it comes with a feature from one of their artists and a video or something like that. And if you give them ten thousand, it comes with two two features in twelve hours or some. It's like you know, it's like something like that. But it depends on what you want to spend your money on and what you want to spend it into. And what are you looking to gain out of it? Okay, so I mean, I'm looking to gain more like more connections. Man, all you got to um, do is get three midgets, and, and, and you get three midgets right, and some rain boots, and just put them in your video. You're gonna go viral. There, there's your attention right there. Hey, bro. <laughs> You want numbers? You gotta get bitches. <laughs> you said you gotta get bitches. No, he said three bitches. Oh, I thought you said, he said you gotta get bitches. No, nah, man, put some bitches in your video. Well, where you gonna find bitches then? Southeast. The oh, chateau. <laughs> He's in Southeast. What the fuck? <laughs> Wait, where are the midgets in Southeast? Like, I ain't gonna lie. I work around Navy, y'all. You see a whole lot of them. Oh, you seen one? Yeah, I seen a couple of them. Yeah. I'm talking. I'm trying, to get, I'm trying to get up into the midgets. I ain't seen the midgets up close and personal. <laughs> My mouth is on the floor right now. I am so like, what the fuck is like, I thought he said, you want to get numbers, you got to have bitches. This motherfucker said bitches. Like, what the fuck? Some shit niggas man. never seen before. I asked where they at. Somebody said South East. Like, what? Who's the <laughs> midget club? I, oh my god. Is this the proper terminology? We gonna get boycotted. I don't know. <laughs> they just went for real life. Like, 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 uh, like, they gonna pull this up and be like, all the little people, people, oh, yeah, get... little people gonna protest. They say, yeah, we got no, like, I'm so confused. Like, I'm so sorry, guys. You gotta go small to go big. Shut the Damn fuck right. up, Molly. I'm done with all of y'all at this point. Hey, that's L- right. And then on top of that, L- everything is L- half L- off the video. So you ain't gotta pay for so much. You saving money? God damn. <laughs> My mouth is on the floor. Really have a shot. We, we shooting, we shooting uh, vertical, not horizontal. <laughs> Hey, you're saving money. <laughs> Instead of paying for a whole model, you got a half. Hey, uh, I'm glad. That, like, I'm glad that my face re- looked how I was thinking that it looked like. Man, see who the little people plug. We need the plug. Well, we know <laughs> cash flow plug to the little people for right now, but we need we need the plug right now. I'm trying, I'm trying. I'm trying to get a little, 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 little skinny freaking this drunk. Nah, um, what's the girl name? That that's the, the um the little person that is an influencer up here. She was just in pre video. Oh uh, what? She was just oh, was no. in pre video. She like real um chocolate. She like darker skin. She a little person. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> Oh. Is she like an influencer here. She from here though. Yeah, fair. <laughs> <laughs> pretty. She pretty. She was just on free, uh, in free video. Yeah. Huh? I'll follow pretty. Are we still talking about midgets? Hey, somebody. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Hey, maybe I ain't gonna lie. I can't. I can't follow a nigga who got his shirt off like every other post. Nah, like, um, for real though, boots. I, I don't blame you. I, I ain't feeling. I ain't, you know, you a good comedian, bro, but like, bro, come on, bro. I ain't feeling you like that. Off, bro. Okay, okay, like, okay, okay, okay. So since we gonna start throwing the comedians under the bus, what the fuck is up? We done been waiting for three years for this fight. Oh, three years for the senior citizen fight? Man, I'm ready to quit, quit. Oh, are you, you talking about David? <laughs> yeah, it's about David. I've been waiting three years for this shit. I wonder what stemmed that. Like, I wonder what made him actually say he wanted to fight. Ain't it? You know what's so crazy is? 
is that he just put out a video talking about he would never box when he was talking about APAC. <laughs> oh. But what's, what's even crazier At least Pat got is the what if they be win? That shit gonna be funny. That shit gonna be Natalie gonna Nunn. Let him live that down. That shit gonna give Natalie Nunn to Wrong, but what, what's, up, what's up with all these comedians trying to be boxers? What's up with staying in your lane? Not, I'm not gonna lie to I follow Pat for a minute. Like I always seen him like post little boxing videos, like condition. I don't know if like he was actually like boxing, oh, oh, yeah. but I know I used to see him like posting that shit though. Like him and Goofies, I seen him post that a lot. You see, you see yeah. that he did, he did he get enough training? Was he getting trained by the yeah. best? Because what I yeah. seen, I don't I, I know about. I don't know about all that. Yeah. He looked like he was so. Yeah. Much. Wasn't my honest opinion on that, bro. I believe he should have never took that fight. Thank everybody. That's what. That's the same thing I said, bro. When I seen the fight, I'm like, bro, why did he even take the fight? Like. Did, did you watch the fight before that fight that he did? Oh my god! Oh, it was worse, bro. He was that fight? boxing APAP. <laughs> so look, YouTube this shit. I swear to God, bro. We was in the studio today, right? And we was watching the jump because my man didn't see the fight. I said, bro, the jump's quick. I said, no funny, oh, the jump's fast. The jump's quick. Oh. So we watched the jump, right? He's like, damn, bro, this and this, right? So. He come out, the commentators is like, I don't see this going two rounds. They was like, I don't see that happening. <laughs> and, and then they kept calling him iPad. I they'll call him iPop. That's what they kept calling him. <laughs> so I'm like, bruh, like, you know what I'm saying? Then like he, he held on the first round, the second round, that's when everything just I was just like, damn, bro, he was not ready. And then on top of that, the dude that he fought was nineteen, a three time golden glove champion slash Damn. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> and this is your first time ever in the ring. Oh my oh, god! Set him up. He, he, yeah. he had big balls. Bruh. He was like, "Oh yeah, he's nineteen. I'm gonna fuck his ass up." Hey, yes. but what's so crazy? I'm gonna give him a he grown wasn't hitting him. Hand <laughs> I'm OG in this bitch. He was. He wasn't even boxing him, bro. He what? was just playing with him. Like, if you watch the fight before this fight, look YouTube the nigga after you get off. I swear to you, bro. You're gonna be like that was not the same fighter, bro. He Man, was playing with him. This bitch right now. He was playing with him, bro. He was fighting this other dude. Um, his name is something sharp. Who Pat? Wally Sharp or, or something like that. Or the other dude he was boxing. I, I got on you. He was fighting got, the dude with Dre. Right now. Right now. So I was like, damn, bro. He looked good. The pictures look good too. This is only eight minutes. Full fight. No, the fight's not eight minutes. The whole sit, the whole section is eight minutes from the come out to the commentating. That's everything. fucking hard. <laughs> oh, hey, I see in the background. Okay, yeah. yeah. Oh, y'all didn't see it. Y'all didn't watch it. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. oh hell no. Nah. You got to listen to them commentators the whole time, bro. That shit was retarded. <laughs> yeah, he's definitely playing around. He ain't even hitting, like... I was going to say a little bit. I like that. Woo! Okay. He's back the only down. He's not being the one back down. He's not being the one back down. That's going to be the money shot for Wally. Oh, my God. Damn. Dude, like anybody get in the ring. Yeah, that shit got bad, bro. But then he was winded. He was out of breath. That's pretty much a rookie in the ring. Is that right? Here to score for Sharks. Let's see if he just waits to throw it to the bottom. Hey. Hey. That boy moved, that boy moved though. Whoa, wait a minute. I No reason for all these 
Pastor Rush. I told you, bro. We just swinging. He ain't even got his guard up. He said what? He was just swinging. He didn't even have his guard up. <laughs> I'm not, I'm, I ain't even going to cap. Like, I'm not even laughing at him, right? It's, it's the fact, it's the fact that, like, bro, like, why do you take a match like that, bro? Like, knowing your status, you know, if you want, wanted to do, like, a skit with bro, or, like, you know, hype up or put some promo into a uh, bro's fight, I understand, but you trying to be the fighter, like, nah, bro, like, come on, bro. You embarrassing yourself, and he talking about bro, like, 19, like, come on, bro, like, come on, bro. That's not yeah, bad. you can see that that dude was playing with him. Yeah, and like I say, if you watched the fight before that, you can see he could really box. He wasn't even doing nothing. He wasn't sweating nothing. Yeah, like <laughs> he playing that's that's dancing. And the first for a real boxer to come out in the first round and just get the swinging like that, he knows you ain't really on it. Like, now uh, he looked. Nah, Apap was doing good for like the first maybe ninety seconds. I was gonna say he was tagging him and everything. I was gonna say now nah, you you. What good tooth in it, right? Like he was doing good. Like for the good, for like the first ninety seconds, he was alright. The first ninety seconds will be. Oh. Watch, finish it. Watch, finish the show. You are gonna see it? Why is this such an issue tonight? Anybody know? Next time it comes out. But if that uppercut, if that uppercut would have connected, 
in this first and second round, or Blueface is going to find a way to outbox him over the next four. And Sensei, you can see the whole difference, and also Blueface, that southpaw stance can make it difficult for an orthodox boxer without experience. Ed Strong got to get inside and let those hands throw. for that thing. Yeah, and wants to throw that big shot over the top. And honestly, if I'm Ed here, don't force it. You make the longer fighter come to you. And then sit back on that back foot and unload the big one. And those exchanges right there. That's what he needs. That's the key. What is that? It's got to have to launch just there. Since his weight saying, that's me. Yeah, you can't let this the space get created again. As soon as the gap gets closed and, and the space goes, you have to capitalize with those shots and go for it. Like we, we say, don't we? Roll and throw. Make the miss, make them pay. You must capitalize. Once you make your taller opponent miss and get him off balance. Yeah, as Blueface comes in behind long shots, big shots to the middle. He's going to have, Ed is going to have to find a way to slip on those shots and make him pay. Defense to offense. It's not one track home. You have to have both. On the other side of the point, since if you're in Blueface's corner, Quite explosive. Yeah, be a little bit more peaceful. Try to draw him out. Right? Don't meet him halfway on those exchanges, right? Use that jab, faint a lot, get him to, to throw that right hand, and once he misses that right hand, then make a pay. You see Blueface over a long gate that left hand is walking right into range. Ed has to be able to sit down and be able to count off of that because coming forward, Blueface is going to be doing an uppercut here from Blueface. You almost landed one of the first round and gave Ed a look. I want to see that shot going out again. Well, I'm glad you said that way because one of the things with that gear type difference, this is the thing that he's so explosive. Oh, big time, so he's explosive. Oh, my God, this is great, guys. He is going for it. Got to be careful with that gas tank. That's what I'm saying. Blueface is able to roll, slip those shots, and now Ed is just wasting a ton of energy. If you look at the high difference, Blueface has almost got the luxury of throwing from his waist to cause damage. He, when you mentioned about the top and down, if he starts throwing hooks to the body and with the way it rolls and throws, he doesn't Ooh, I know y'all see that blue face dodging them motherfuckers. I go, bad motherfucker boy, blue face. Oh, shit. Oh, did, did the live just end? And, and, and yet? Oh, sure. I'm sure. I'm hoping we. Say so probably gonna end in two minutes. Damn, did I start that late? I started that late. God, man. My fault, yo. I'm most, I'm most, I'm most, I'm most definitely, I'm most definitely owe y'all uh, another live. See, I'd rather do MMA. I feel you. But I mean, MMA even worse. That, 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 that foot connect your face, your neck, your head, your cranium, but then you done, bro. It's just one, it's just one of them wild ass kicks. One thing about MMA is like, I'll do MMA, but if you with that, that one, that one fighter, that you know he gonna do some wild ass shit, and especially if you give them the time to do it, he gonna knock your ass like he gonna fuck your ass up like he gonna really knock your ass out. I've seen it. I I watch. I be I I watch that shit. I be like, yeah. I'm like, yo, if, this, if that nigga didn't step the way he stepped, or give him the time to round up like that, yeah, yeah, that that would have never fucking happened. But is, am I still on? I'm still on this Instagram. Yo, Insta, Insta, Instagram pick and choose when they how long they want me to stay on the live for. I ain't gonna catch you y'all. <laughs> what the fuck is he talking about? I mean, after an hour, because I think I started, I don't know if I started, like, at, later than 8.30 or earlier, but I'm still on the live. They're supposed to have been kicking, been kicking me up. Yeah, they be faking. They be dealing with you however they want to at this point. <laughs> <laughs> right. But. Yeah. I got what I fucking want. 
But I mean, shout out everybody that popped out tonight. But uh, let me get into these other songs, though, because um, I did promise um, I'll play his music. And I know Mr. Corey May has been trying to, he's been showing big love. Yeah. Um, yeah. He definitely been showing love. And I definitely want to know, let him know that we acknowledge his uh, shit. Yeah. We yeah, we most definitely acknowledge, acknowledge what you got going on. Yeah, so, bro. Like, I fuck with you. It's just that I just been having that. It ain't, this ain't been the week of Mercedes responding. I've been going through hella shit and I've been sick. Then be the LA. Yeah. Let's get to it. If you don't know this song. Y'all better to get getting on the Corey May. Then be the LA. Let's go. Seen this comment, yo. What the? That's funny as hell. He do look like the nigga who fuck your mom, bro. I ain't even gonna cat like no, I ain't even gonna sit here and lie. He do like look like the sneaky. He look like the sneaky nigga. He be like, hey, like he put your mom on some game. Like yo, girl, I can, I can, do something. I can, I can clean up your credit. You, hey, you come to me. Why I gotta get out? <laughs> you said what? <laughs> come to me. Why do I gotta get out and come to you? Oh, we, we, we trying, you trying, you trying to make the middleman? What you mean? <laughs> I want to see what you going to say when I said that. Hey, you know that. I don't fuck with middlemen. Niggas just Where got off. Where the fuck is Molly? Jesus. Hey, 
Hey, yeah, shout out, man. Man, shout out, man. Nate the Great, man. He most definitely, Nate the Great, the Nate the Great King, man. Man, we doing good out here, man. The Maybach, Maybach's still recovering. She, 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 but, but she's doing good, you know. We just out here thriving, man. We got a lot of shows, a lot of uh, ventures going on. So tap in, man. Like, most, definitely, most definitely want to shout you out, bro. You most definitely been showing love on our podcast since the time you touched down and blessed the podcast. Where are you? Just go to the fucking walk to walk to the fuck, bro. I hate when people be doing shit like that. Yeah. For a minute. <laughs> Work goes smoothly when you know the right steps. With Asana, you can coordinate tasks across teams and stay on track so your team can spend more time celebrating wins. Try it for free at asana.com. <laughs> Blessings and chicken grease and all that good shit. How y'all doing, people? Hey, man, man, appreciate you, man, tapping into the podcast. I know you have to. I know you have to pull up, pull up on uh Maybach real quick. So hold on, hold on, hold on. Hell yeah, yeah. hell yeah, <laughs> hell yeah. We got we, we got Maybach out here lacking. What's good, Deja? How am I lacking? I clearly knew where the fuck I was going. Like, <laughs> oh, cause you boy, boy, pull up on you smooth. He tried to pull up on you. Why you say you pull up on me smooth? Like I didn't know. Like I haven't been clearly looking. Like I've been looking for somebody. <laughs> like. Like, I was talking like down the like a left near the bench and shit. Man. Nigga, you said Planet Fitness. I mean, yeah, I see it. Like, <laughs> like I'm right around the corner. Like I saw the joke. Hey, 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 Deja, hop on for the for the for the couple last minutes, real quick. Exactly. Hey, Deja. Yeah. Hey, hey, so quick question though, because I'm trying to go to that <laughs> JV Buffers and Glizzy fight, but I'm afraid they might scam me if I buy the tickets. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It it it, it look. It depends on the promoter. It, it, check, check, it just, uh, it's a hundred dollars a ticket. A hundred dollars a ticket. Boy, I better see a fucking bloodbath sport for a hundred dollars a ticket. Fuck I mean, if you, if you if you if you can call for a hundred dollars a ticket, bro, like I need it. Gotta be some strippers there. It gotta it gotta be food there. Like, like, you know what I mean? It gotta be, food, 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 it gotta be like. It gotta be a moon bounce for my kids to go play at. Like I don't got no kids, but you know what I mean. It gotta be a whole bunch of shit going on. Nah, they need to do this shit in the MGM. <laughs> right. right. Oh no, no, no. MGM gonna be like, hey, we, we finna lose money, bro. What's going on? <laughs> How they finna lose money? This is like one of the biggest fights. In no, the it, it, it's gonna it's gonna attract bullshit. It's gonna attract somebody that they bullshit. You know, you know they got the. You know they got the youth, so the youth gonna be on bullshit. Oxen Hill right there. I know. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, I don't see the house. Ten to one right there. You know what I mean? No one play. No, no. As soon as a nigga lose, there's gonna be a hell of a fight outside the joke. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, niggas gonna be fighting. Niggas gonna be mad. <laughs> niggas gonna be mad. Stop fighting outside the joke. <laughs> right. That, that that's that's the type of bullshit I'm talking about. It's gonna be some bullshit niggas gonna be upset about. Now, like, now, so, so what what would you call this? Like South Beach versus uh uh PG, like shit like that. Is it? I they I think they both from uh. 
no, no, no. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hold on. Pause. Yeah, but I think, I think. Uh, let me, let me confirm from Maybach real quick. Wait, 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 where are they from? Do not fucking <laughs> <laughs> Did you see how <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I had to do that. For, I had to do that for the one time. I had to do that for the one time. Hey. Oh shit! This nigga hey. just did that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sick of y'all. Okay. Oh. You said what? I said I'm sick. Okay. Oh. Let's lean in. Put the camera oh, to. Believe it. Uh, <laughs> if Ed Glizzy know anything about what he doing, he would have me in attendance. As a, as, a, as a ring assistant. The oh, fuck? Okay. Okay. As a referee. <laughs> okay. okay. Oh, no, nah, no. Nah. If you were the referee, motherfuckers going to be salty as a bitch. Motherfuckers going to be salty. Oh, salty. It's going to be like, <laughs> it's like oh, man, yo, this is set up, yo. He's going to be like, this is a set up, yo. Nah, your comment huh? okay, will be legendary, though. I ain't going to hold you. Your shit will be. <laughs> no, no. Don't even see. I don't got no commentary. I have nothing to say. Oh, I'm just here to watch. Yes. <laughs> I'm, here. I'm here to make you uncomfortable. Why? <laughs> and watch you get your ass whipped. Uh, hey, flag, flag, flag on the play. Flag on the play. They they both look like they finna scuffle each other up. I don't think one has an advantage over the other to keep it a buck. I do. <laughs> you anything? You it's anything is real? Is being it, the it, only it, girl that he hasn't yet. <laughs> I do. Ooh. Ooh. Shots fired. Ooh. <laughs> I wish I had little buttons. <laughs> and I could, uh, 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 West Side Gun ad libs on go. <laughs> Being the only girl that he did not hit. Oh. Ooh. Uh, and it's just, that's just it. it. Shit getting a little spicy. Shit getting a little juicy right now. Oh, get a little spicy. <laughs> <laughs> here, folks. <laughs> Live and direct. <laughs> they ain't ready. They ain't re hey, we need to put in petition that Maybach need to be the referee. I'll, I'll be there. I'll, I'll buy the whole front row seats. I'll buy front row seats for everybody. Yes, please buy front, front row about? seats so we can fucking laugh. It's, uh, yo, I need I'm my Don King in this bitch. I'm wearing my Don nice King Sunday suit. Well, Talk about as soon as his ass see me, he gonna have a fucking heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> It's over. Yeah, so my suggestion oh, is bring shit. the only girl that he didn't beat up. Oh, shit. Damn. <laughs> shit. Damn. <laughs> Oh shit, nigga, that yeah. he loses and then you go on Vin TV. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yo. And tell me, the real team. <laughs> Bruce is like, oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, Bruce is like, oh shit, some shit. Oh shit, some, some shit, shit about had, to pop the fuck off. Some shit must have really happened because this bitch been motherfucking quiet as a mouse for the past motherfucking year and something. Oh shit! This is this is legendary right here. Time the mouse to come out that motherfucker uh mouse hole. You might have come that motherfucker. Let the motherfucker world know the fuck going on. I ain't gonna let the world know. I'm gonna let them world the world know on Big TV, and I'm gonna try to get some of that contract money that he got over that motherfucker because that motherfucker's gonna go crazy when I tell the real truth. Oh my god. <laughs> Yo, word is bond. <laughs> we got it first. Bitch, we got I the first take waiting. exclusives on the podcast. If this shit happened, we we, we we were the one who planned it. Well, I ain't, I ain't gonna play it. I don't want no part. I don't want to get sued. I don't want nothing, but you know what I mean? <laughs> hey, we the one who probably inspired this. He ready to smoke us, but the difference is, is he ain't gonna... The difference is he's going to be ready to smoke us because he ain't going to be able to beat me. Smoke because smoke if he try to put his hands on me, my brothers will smoke him. Sure. <laughs> we, we go, hey, baby, go get my collection. Who's going to smoke? Who's going to smoke? Nah, nah, I'll ride my shit with me. Yeah, yeah. 
I'm a walking And then my door. suggestion is he act like he know because I'm definitely going to tell him. No. Oh, shit. Now, imagine you being a nigga that the whole DMV will Joan on. Like, yeah, and that, that, that's crazy. Nobody <laughs> don't even, but nobody, see, Molly, he really know the real story. That's why he over here fucking having a heart attack. Because I done told it already. <laughs> shit, we, we be telling secrets back to back, man. I'm afraid, like, we can't even expose half the shit we be talking about. <laughs> hey, big love. Shout out Cali, man. Blessings. Hey, shout out Corey. I fuck with it. Corey said he on a date, and his girlfriend, his his date was about to leave him because he on the love. <laughs> girl, we love you, girl. Yeah, yeah, girl, he, he, he most definitely time. love you. But he love us, but he love us himself from DMV. Let's hey, go. Hey, 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 hey Corey, if you if, if if something happened over there, and we got plenty of women over here in the DMV for you, brother. We got all types. We got all types. I keep trying to do him like that, man. Man, I gotta let him know. <laughs> you know what I mean? I gotta let a brother know he got options. He be needed. You know what I mean? It's one planet Let's and like one. three thousand, three three million, don't, billion, trillion females. Corey, don't listen to Boots. Oh, what you mean? What you mean? Don't listen to Boots. So you think you think Cali big? Boots, you think Cali big? Come to the DMV. We show you big. Do not listen to Boots, Oh, uh, you said come to the DMV. Yeah. <laughs> so you think Cali big? Come to the DMV. We show you bigger. Shit, at least we neutral. Y'all got to worry about gangs and none of that. Yeah, we neutral. We got oh, right, got it. Imagine that red shit. Red oh, imagine that shit. The best gunner, the color, the right? best gunner you guys with blood. Oh, you know what time it is. He said... Yeah. What? Hold on, hold on, pause, pause, pause. What you mean? What time is it? What's going on? What you know what time it is. <laughs> he said soup, boop. <laughs> <laughs> he said, <laughs> said soup, boop. <laughs> yeah. So I just be chilling now. Yeah. Oh, oh, you, oh, you, oh, yeah, you soup, boop. <laughs> oh, what? Okay. Oh, oh. Bitty bang, bitty bang. <laughs> Okay, maybe let me find yeah, let me that, find that out. Let me, I am a civilian. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> let me find out. Let me find out. Let me find out. That's how you know when you go up too far. I know, right? That's what y'all say. He's like, man, I don't bang no more, my nigga. Do you want to do that? God. Yo. Oh, hey, shit. Man. Maybach, you 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 mess with me, but you come with a whole bunch of problems, man. If you go and mess with me, you come with a whole bunch of issues and problems and headaches and heart attacks. My suggestion and... is everybody act like everybody be ch like chilling with me. Like people really be cooling with me, so I don't got no problem with nobody. But the person and the people that I have problems with, they know to leave me. Mm. They know. Mm. They motherfuckers know. And they I don't know. bother nobody. Mm. I'm a lover. Know. I am a Lover. See, nowadays people be hating on the lovers. <laughs> they, they don't like when motherfuckers give too much love out to people. They get intimidated and shit. Yeah. They be like, why are these motherfuckers so happy? I need to hate on his ass. <laughs> I definitely be dealing with that shit. Yeah. Be like that. Be like that. <laughs> look, look, I'm going to be honest with you. It's actually the first time I've really been excited over some negativity shit. Because it's like, you know, real shit. He, just, he, just, been, he want me to expose the shit for real. I don't even want you to expose it like that. I, if anything, if anything, I want like, I want like a, a, a visual representation of like the worst of the worst. <laughs> and let them duke it out. <laughs> who, can, who can claim the worst nigga in this area? Yeah. <laughs> oh, look, look. They gotta be an Anna Shaw boxing max suit. I'm sorry. That that's all I'm gonna say. I'm gonna end it like that. <laughs> you got you got who 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 boxing match? I say they gotta be an Ed Glizzy and Shaw Glizzy boxing match. On the next oh show. yeah, hell yeah, oh yeah. I gotta see that joint. Oh yeah, like I, it's, I, it's I, over I, you. I, DMV, I, I, comment. You I, know I you want to see Anna Shaw duke it out. Nah, nah. I, I, I ain't, I ain't even gonna cap. I don't know anybody listening. I don't know if you English, uh, English, or shy, glizzy, big homie, small homie, middle homie, little people homie. Listen, I don't think shy glizzy can fight. Yo. I ain't even gonna cap, boy. I, I think English, English, glizzy might wash up shy glizzy in the motherfucking ring, bro. I ain't even gonna cap. <laughs> you know, what I mean, I mean, I ain't even scared of none of those. Shy. I ain't scared of no glizzy because who, who? Why would I be scared of glizzy? That's kind of gay. But like, come on, bro. Like, just to let you know, bro. We're just, <laughs> just we're just just back.
Oh, you is holding no punches back. <laughs> oh, for you think ain't going back out? Huh, word, ain't backing now. I don't think he's going to back out, and I think the only, mm, oh, the only oh, reason why, word just, word. I feel like the only reason why they having this fight is because um the girl went on big TV and, ex and exposed that every single time that Aunt Glizzy talk, post something or say something on his shit that she gets beat up. Yeah, man. Hey, hey man, this is this is public knowledge. This this ain't shit that motherfuckers did not know. So I don't know, man. Like, <laughs> damn. Oh, see, God. did they see? Well, they see they already finessed y'all niggas. So anybody who bought a ticket that thought the fight was about to happen, the fight ain't about to happen. <laughs> was on Davy Live just now. Word just in and backing out. God man. I told you that this shit is real beef. This man is beefing over that shit. Oh my god. <laughs> Joe. Joe. Nah, I, ain't, I, ain't, I ain't gonna lie. If I was David too, I, I'd just be like beefing too because it just like kind of like just threw a bad name on him for real. Kind of like for real. Like. Man, this nigga ain't throws bad names on everybody. Like this man is a tabloid investigator hood nigga. Like. <laughs> No, no, nigga. but that's the, nigga but that's the thing. You gotta be a hood head. nigga for him. You gotta be a hood nigga for him to even talk all that rah rah shit about you. Because if you ain't a hood nigga, he, he ain't gonna know nothing about you. But, There's nothing to, for you to no, talk to. You him. know, you know what I think is. I think, truth be told, it's almost like it's like an interest story. It's like you have to be interesting enough, and you gotta be big enough to where he wants to be interested in and like digging up your shit. But this nigga was digging up nigga shit ten years, twelve years. In the past, I'm like, nigga, what kind of tabloid investigated you digging up shit 10 years ago? So, no, fuck, nigga, I don't even remember niggas 10 years ago. Right. And this nigga got, got files and archives of nigga shit. I'm yeah, like, he bro. Like, he, he be pulling up niggas. Bro, like, yeah, dog, he works in a fed low key. Like, fans yeah, don't even was, know what happened shit that these niggas be knowing. Not saying he a fed, I'm just saying he be knowing shit. That's all I be saying. He be knowing some shit. <laughs> Nigga, nigga, take nigga, if a nigga take time to get all your information, make a video about it. I mean, I don't know what you want to say. I don't know. I don't, I don't know what you want to say about that, but no, really, right. time, man. Mm. <laughs> no real inside, man. Like no man to give the info and shit. See, that's crazy. They gotta be someone. They they gotta be a Don King somewhere in this bitch. Like someone gotta promote this shit, man. Like. <laughs> Don King, where you at? <laughs> Shit. I be Don King. I was looking very Don King. I was looking real crazy. She go, maybe that's going to pop up with the whole dress suit. <laughs> I can see that. I can see that happening. Only in America. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Turn it on you. Turn it on me. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, uh, that was my face. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. What y'all smoking? Y'all smoking? What, what smoking that pressure or y'all smoking hub? That's good. What was that? OJ? Oh, okay. 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 Shit. I was going to say, nigga, I don't smoke OG. I don't know what the word was. You smoke OG? Oh, okay, whatever. I, I smoke. Like. He said, he say, uh, Boone said, Ant wants 20K to fight. 20K? Ant wants 20K? Oh, shit. You're going to make some. Yeah, you're gonna make 20k. Yeah, with the like ticket sales alone. Yeah, hey, you're mean, gonna make more than 20k. If 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 this fight really happens, you y'all gonna both make way more than 20k. It might touch a hundred thousand. It might. I don't know. It might I touch. Remember, remember when Davey was doing the same thing? He said he wanted 10k to fight last time three years ago. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, uh, so he's probably just mocking it. They, they just, they just 10k. I mean, they don't make that. I mean, look, this, this is one thing that kills me about sometimes being V talent, bro. Like, I don't know why. Like this, this, this event right here. This is basically a, 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 a team working event. Like, we both come, you know, put on a show, perform, be comedians, probably knock one each other out if if it's really serious, and make our money and go home. Like, why is it gotta be like, oh, I need more money? Like, you already know you finna make money. You already, it already has the attention. You I got, mean, you, you got. From other, you know, out of state saying, "Oh shit, I'm here for it." Like, bro, come on, like you, you really like. 
why not? Like it's a, it's a win it's a win win at, at the end of the day. But if bro really like beefing, really really like really like beefing, like bro, get that shit over. The, right, you grown, you're a grown ass man, bro. Like, like, they like, just think about the money, bro. It's, it's a good it's a good marketing scheme for real. Yeah, I think it's a good marketing scheme, especially. The oh, game. definitely marketing scheme. Especially, it, they, I feel like they should. Definitely marketing scheme. And is looking at it like a marketing scheme. I mean that's not, that's all looking at it. I mean then they should just invite some people like the local like local talents that actually be in the um like that be fine put them in the ring, sit them bring them sit them down uh sit them down Sandy a uh, big wolf again bring them back in throw another you know throwback fight you know what I mean uh you can pr even uh, uh three time a uh, cutter three time uh cutter cutter uh bringing out bring, you know some some people like right right it's it's so many ways for money to be shared out here bring some vendors all that shit but yeah but i don't know i feel like it's money to be made i feel like it's money to be made but people don't want to really want to make the money for real True. i mean the money look I, as far as i'm concerned this shit's gonna ring out in the whole metropolitan so i feel like and, and, and mind you, we're in a very instigating ass city. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. Niggas, yeah. niggas love instigating. So this just bound to be a good ass event. Like, I, I feel, look, if Maybach is doing the pre con of stirring the pot, you already know how many other niggas are going to come up in that joint. Right, right. And stir right. the pot with it. <laughs> you already know. Niggas gonna bring up hella pass, dog. Like, and this shit might be good. Say, especially me. Y'all know I don't never say shit. Hey, Maybach, you need to tap in with Ant and let him know, like, yo, you gotta <laughs> let me be a like, referee, something. Like, yeah, we gotta we gotta throw that little, that, 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 she gonna leave him alone. Yeah. God damn. What an ultimatum, man. The, the stakes is high. Yeah, most definitely it is high. Yeah, nigga, y'all niggas is gonna get a real eye opener. I get open in my goddamn mouth. <laughs> oh shit. And you know for the past year I've been keeping it silent. Oh shit. over the past year, years. Uh, I, yeah. It's about <laughs> Yeah. Woo! I don't even get down, down like this. Yeah, we about to make a series at this job. <laughs> like, I'm sorry. Like, yo, Ed, Buffins, y'all y'all made a series at this job. We about to have series of fights. We about to have uh, that nigga Fat E versus Cartier. <laughs> we gonna have, uh, I would say Money Mom, but he locked up, so we got his own fight to deal with. <laughs> he got his own fight to deal with. See, that sucks, man, because this is about to be huge. Like, you about to open the floodgates with niggas. Actually, not but for real shit, I think I'd rather see niggas fight on public and talk their shit instead of in the background and then shit pops off. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'd rather see that because too many times, man, people be doing secret alliances with niggas and all these types of spinning in the block and war shit be happening. And it's like, it's like the sad part is it's, it's really just between two people. It's not even like the whole niggas' games and shit. So I think this might set a tone to where it's like, yeah, if you really got a problem with the man, duke it out. I don't give a fuck if like you embarrassed this shit. You want to do something afterwards? Duke it out because at least then you'll be you'll know who the stepper is. Because so many people want to claim who the stepper is, but nobody wants to put them gloves. So now nah, you're right, but um, just 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 to end this podcast, you know. Make sure y'all tune in every eight uh, every Wednesday from eight to ten p.m. I apologize for showing up a little late, but we most definitely gonna be on time next week. Shout out everybody who tapped in. We got Maybach, we got seven seven zero three Smalley, man, I'm going crazy. Um, and one thing before I, I one thing I want to say before I leave, man, they need to stop playing. They need to add me in the ring. Like I'm ready to get in a fight with somebody. I'm ready to brawl with some motherfuckers. Like, like I don't know, like somebody, somebody been ducking me, so I don't know why. So like. Why? Yeah, they didn't put me in a ring. You so, fight, so <laughs> who's the person you want to fight? Listen, I've been trying to fight a couple niggas out here, but the thing is, they ain't want they, when they see these motherfucking guns, they're like, I don't know if you want to fight this nigga. But and they know, and when they find out I'm, I'm African too, they're like, oh, this nigga fight dirty as hell too. <laughs> so, so, they gonna do your ass like Blueface did that again. <laughs> yeah. yeah.
But you know, I don't want to tell too much. But yeah, most definitely <laughs> every Wednesday is a most definitely the show. Um, we got we gonna have guests next week. Hey, shout out, just 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 again, most definitely tap in. We on YouTube too. Subscribe, like, comment. Hey, y'all say y'all shout outs. I'm out. Give me a couple more days to look. give me a couple more days. My DMs are flooded. I have been super sick, y'all. Like, give me. Give me some I'm going to go through my DMs, please. Like, stop reaching out to Boots to talk to me because <laughs> it does nothing but piss me off because he knows what the fuck I got going on. Y'all don't. So when he screenshotted me, y'all messages, I'm like, okay, I don't give a fuck. Like, him and the, another hundred people that's going to fucking try to get We got to go. We out of here. See ya. Fuck that shit, y'all. <laughs> fuck that shit. <laughs>